Hi, welcome back to Your Future, Your Finances. We're talking to Ron Soroka, the COO of Evolve Consulting Group. Uh, we're talking about the Affordable Care Act and health insurance, saving money, and a variety of other uh, very important topics. Ron, thanks for coming back on the show. Thanks for having me. So what are some of the areas you see uh, the, the biggest confusion with people trying to interact with their health insurance? So there are quite a few of them. Uh, the deductible, which is, hey, I have health insurance, but I've got to pay a certain amount of money in expenses before I start paying copays, which is what most people became familiar with. So mm -hmm. that through the late 80s, the 90s, copays, that was it. Hey, I go to the doctor, I pay $25. Now there are deductibles, and they're anywhere from $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, even $4,000 per person. Mm. And what that means is instead of going to the doctor and paying $25, I'm going to the doctor and I'm paying whatever the negotiated cost of that visit is. It can be anywhere from $80 to $170 for just a regular visit. Mm. And most people don't understand that. Most people, and there are new people getting into the insurance market as far as patients, and so they'll go in and say, well, I have insurance, so you know, I owe you $20. They'll get a bill for $120 and not understand why. Mm. That's one of the biggest things. So you've got people buying insurance, going to the doctor's office, and having no idea they're coming out with a, a larger bill. Mm -hmm. So that's one mass area of confusion. Another, regardless of whether you have a deductible, coinsurance, copay, whatever it may be, there are a list of preventive services that are available to anybody who has an insurance policy. These are federally mandated. So they're uniform across all insurance carriers. And they cover preventive visits. So for men and women, it'll be your annual physical. For women, it's your well woman exam. For children, it's your regular visits and immunizations, contraception. There is a long list of preventive services that if you go and get those done, no matter what, it's a zero dollar to you. Mm. Whether you have a deductible, whether or not you have copays on your plan. That's a favorable zero dollars change. Yep. So it costs you nothing. However, if you go in and the doctor, there, there's a tough line between the doctor and the patient. And as a patient, you absolutely have to be vigilant. And you've got it. We go as far as with all of our clients, we explain to their employees, you've got to tell the person at the front desk, I'm here for my preventive visit. You've got to tell the doctor or the nurse, I'm here for my preventive visit. Let me know when we go outside the scope. Because mm -hmm. the doctor, they've got to ask you every question. This may just be your annual physical, your checkup. They're going to have to ask you, hey, were you sick? Do you have any pains? Anything. If they don't do their job, they're going to get sued. But the second you say, I've got a sore throat, and they start talking about that, it's within their right to code it as a diagnostic visit, which means you went from zero to maybe $120 out of your pocket, and you didn't need to. Mm. The last time I had my physical, I had pneumonia. I had a conversation. I said, look, I've already been treated for the pneumonia. I still have it. You're going to see it. We can talk about it but this is my preventive visit. I came out of there with a zero dollar bill. Hmm. And it's because I knew to ask those questions. I mean, there are things, some of the procedures that are preventive, they're $750,000 procedures. So it's very important to be savvy on this. And this all falls on the patient because nobody else is looking out for you. Hmm. Nobody else can. Yeah. So what are some of the examples of the difference between buying insurance now versus a few years ago? Yeah, so before, uh, you, ha you still had your employer market, your individual market, and your government market. The, the government, that being state or federal benefits, that's expanded. So a lot of states, more people have access to that. Individually, it used to be, hey, if you're sick, you're not going to be getting an individual policy. It's impossible. They underwrit you, under, you're underwritten, and it was based on your health, your age, and your sex. Now... Regardless of your health, your age, your sex, you will still qualify for an individual plan. However, you need to purchase it in certain windows. So generally open enrollment will be at the end of the year. So November, December, and some of January is generally when you'll be able to purchase an individual policy. If you don't, you can't purchase throughout the rest of the year. You're on your own unless you meet limited circumstances. So a, a change in circumstances, and I won't go through those because they're, they're technical. <laughs> And it's, it's, if you think you're in one, you better research it and see if you are, then apply. But the bottom line, if you're going to be purchasing an individual policy, don't miss your open enrollment window. Yeah, it seems like you could have people delaying procedures and so forth until Absolutely. they're in the window. Yeah. Yep. And then from the employer perspective, what you're seeing is employers being able to contribute less to employee plans. Mm -hmm. And largely because premiums have been going up and the amount of money they're making hasn't gone up to match that. Mm-hmm. 
So you're in a window, you're eligible uh, for in insurance. What are some of the important things you should be looking for in a policy? So knowing, one, the terminology. There's basic terminology, deductibles. Understand that I'm paying the discounted cost of anything I do when I'm in the deductible phase of my plan. Also understand what co-pays are and understand what doctors are covered under your plan because every different carrier has a different set of doctors. Some overlap, some are exclusive to their own. Mm -hmm. So it's only their doctors. Kaiser, they own their doctors and that's who you're going to see largely. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to know that, especially if you have ongoing conditions. And then to piggyback on the deductible piece, and this is the largest thing that we see hitting consumers is they've got expensive prescriptions. They go into a plan that has a deductible. You're paying the discounted cost of your prescription. Well, it Maybe without insurance, you'd be paying $2,000 for it, and they get a discount. You still may be paying $500 for your prescription. That is where the largest increase in spending we see. Hmm. It used to be prescription coverage was maybe 10% of your premium, 5% of your premium. You had a $100 you know, premium, $5 went to your prescription cost and your premium. Now it's more like 40% of your premium goes towards the prescription. And so it's very important to understand what your exposure is going to be when you purchase a plan. Hmm. All right, so briefly, where do you see it going, health care and then health insurance in the future, and then give us your website as well. So as far as where things are going, the biggest theme that you'll see that we talk about to anybody is you as a patient, you as a consumer need to be vigilant and you need to be informed because things are getting increasingly complex, and it's not for in the favor of the patient. Mm -hmm. So you really have to be educated on things. Things are getting more complicated. All of the insurance carriers are having to do really funky things within the market. They have to create new networks, small networks. They have to say, if you go to the hospital and get this procedure done, you're paying $500. If you go to a freestanding facility, which you probably have never even heard that term, you're going to pay $250. So there's a huge difference. So you as the consumer have to know that. Mm -hmm. And that's really the bottom line is you've got to be an informed consumer. That's mm -hmm. the biggest change. Mm -hmm. Um, and as our website is EvolveConsultingInc.com. EvolveConsultingInc.com. Okay, great. Ron Soroka, COO of Evolve Consulting Group. Thanks for coming on the show. That's a lot of great stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. You're watching Your Future, Your Finances. Thanks very much.